The Arabian Nights Introduction This revision of the Arabian Nights Introduction is brought to you by ESL Audiobooks. It is copyrighted 2016. To find more information about this story and others, and to learn about updates on the next release from ESL Audiobooks, visit eslaudiobooks.wordpress.com. There was a kingdom called Sassanidae. All the people loved their king, and all of the king's enemies feared him. When he died, he gave his kingdom to his oldest son, Sherir. One day, the king Sherir learned his wife was unfaithful. He told the Grand Vizier to kill her. This made the king go crazy, though. He thought all women were unfaithful and cruel like his wife was. He decided there should be fewer women. So, every evening, he married a new wife, and the next morning he told the Grand Vizier to kill her. Sherrier's kingdom used to be a beautiful and happy kingdom, but now it was a sad and fearful place, and the people hated their king. The Grand Vizier did not want to kill innocent women every day, but he was a loyal servant. The Grand Vizier had two daughters. His youngest was called Dinirzad, and his oldest was called Scheherazad. The youngest was a plain girl. She was nothing special. But Scheherazade was a smart girl and brave, too. She studied philosophy, medicine, history, and the fine arts. She was also the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. One day, Scheherazade asked her father for a favor. I can't say no to anything you ask, her father answered. Then please listen, Scheherazade said. I want to stop the king. He cannot kill a new woman every morning. How will you stop him, though? asked the Grand Vizier. My father, Scheherazade said, you bring him a new girl every day. So, this evening, I want you to take me to be his next wife. The Grand Vizier cried out, are you crazy? Why do you ask me to do this? You know you will be killed. Father, she replied, I am not afraid. I have to try to stop him. The Grand Vizier argued with her, but finally, he gave up. He saw he could not change his daughter's mind. He went to the king that evening and told him sadly that the king's next wife 
was Scheherazade. The king was very surprised to hear this. Why will you marry your daughter to me? My king, this is what she wants to do. I could not talk her out of it. The king warned him, Remember, as my grand vizier, you will have to kill her yourself. If you don't, I will kill you instead. The grand vizier nodded. I know. I will kill her myself. I am your loyal servant. The king agreed to marry the grand vizier's daughter. He told the grand vizier to bring his daughter as soon as he wanted. The grand vizier went and told his daughter that the king agreed. Scheherazade was very happy to hear this. She thanked her father and went to get ready for her wedding. She spoke with her sister as she got ready. My dear sister, I need your help with something very important. Father has agreed to marry me to the king. When I go tonight, though, I will ask him to let you come sleep with me on my last night. If he agrees, then you have to wake me up an hour before dawn. Say, my sister, if you are not asleep, Please tell me a story. Then I will tell a story. I hope my stories will make the king stop and he will not kill his wives any more. Dinarazad promised she would do what her sister asked. That evening, the king and Scheherazade met. The king was surprised by Scheherazade's beauty, but he did not understand why she cried. He asked her why she cried. My king, I have a younger sister. We love each other very much. Please allow her to stay with me tonight because it is my last. Sharir allowed this and Dinarazad came to the palace to be with her sister. An hour before dawn, Dinarazad woke her sister. She said, my dear sister, if you are not asleep, please tell me one of your stories. It is the last time I will be able to hear one. Scheherazade looked at the king. If my king will allow me to tell a story? The king agreed. He thought it would be nice to hear a story. And so Scheherazade began her story. This is the end of the Arabian Nights introduction.